Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Project Wingman Part 2. Sicario is moving west, ladies and gents. Information coming out of country has been spotty, but... Well, let's just say there's a demand for people of our pedigree. The Federation's been eyeing a takeover of Cascadia's resources for years, as far as I remember. And it seems the Cascadians weren't going to take it lying down, based on what info has been leaked out. For those of you who don't know, Cascadia is a nation along North America's western seaboard, one of the largest on Earth, and one of the most prosperous due to its abundant natural resources and geothermal energy deposits. I've never been, but I hear it's beautiful. A country with limitless energy at its fingertips. I know some of us who were born out here in the periphery can't even imagine it, but I'm sure this hits closer to home for some of you. Moving along. There's a communications blackout both in and out of the country. And as far as the international news goes, nothing is going on except a few riots. Based on the mercenary networks, however, that is a complete lie. A full-blown conflict is proceeding. We've reached out and we're given a rendezvous by a Cascadian group called the Independence Force, the main anti-Federation group recognized by the national government. I presume the Federation has the borders on lockdown to stop people like us from coming in. So stay on our toes. If we get found out by a patrol, we'll send one of our flights off to take care of them. Sicario is moving northwest towards a rendezvous point set by Cascadia's Independence Force. We don't expect any heavy resistance given our route of ingress. However, each of our fighter groups will be pulling ships to preserve fuel and ammo. Hitman team, you will be responsible for the last leg of the journey, which will take us over into Cascadia proper. Be prepared to intercept border patrols. I know some of you might not be too enthused to be fighting the Federation, so I invite you to leave with what you have of your contract. You'd only slow us down. Slow us down indeed. So, here we go. Uh, we only seem to be turning with our targets this mission, so... A good time to explain some air combat. Stop mission. we can see that we've unlocked a new plane. <laughs> the FOE, the proper version of this, with more special weapons available to it. Nice. However, the MiG-21 analogy, the MG-21, uh, seems to be a little bit too much expense, too expensive for us, which really doesn't matter, because I prefer to use it anyway, because we get our weapon system also, also Prez. Uh, who always spices up the missions a little bit with her amusing commentary. Confirm purchase? Absolutely. Let's pick that. We are only facing uh, air targets this mission, so we'll be running... Let's see, now what, what can we run? These are quite nice to have. Uh, we really don't need any of these. But I guess we can have a gun pod. And some multi log anti air missiles. Why not? The SAAs are semi active uh, anti air missiles. They'll. Uh... Well, I'll show you what these do when we get into the mission. Here we go. Go for the top most ones. Let's see here now. There we go. Let's use the semi actives. They have a very long range, as you can see. And special missiles have the lovely uh, effect of usually taking down uh, at least enemy fighters in a single hit. And as long as we keep the uh, 
our target in the uh, this little circle that we get. The missile will almost guaranteed impact uh, hit. There we go. Change st standard missiles. We are very close now, after all. And kaboom! Got one behind us. Gun flares. Come round and slow down because we're going to pass. Right. Let's use the gun pods for this one. Ah, oh, high explosives. I didn't even notice that. How lovely. Let's see if we can come round this guy here. Get on his six. Let's jump on those a little bit. And there he is. There we go. The hitboxes can be very forgiving in this game, which is nice. Suddenly helps with uh, taking down enemies. Let's see if we can. And there we go as well. Kaboom. Nice gun burst. He's a little too far away for our guns, so let's just not do that because he's again very far. Because he's again a bit too close. Kaboom! Perfect. They're on our tail, dump flares. Circle back, we're on is like 4 o'clock. Damn it, the miss. There we go. There we go, excellent. Uh, this is basically the gameplay loop, by the way. All you do is... He's gonna turn, and... There we go. Missiles, excellent. Okay, that's a little too close for us. Oh, one of our allies did it, excellent. Your allies aren't completely useless. Right, that are... Ah, there we have something interesting. That, uh... I suppose it's the second highest, second closest in the northern edge of the battle space. The thing with the, uh, the little caverns around it. Uh, let's see if we can find it. That is, I believe, an airship. We'll take that one right after. No, wait. I think I might really be wrong on that one. Let's see here now what this thing is. Ah, an FC8. Excellent. Uh, it's basically a big plane, but they take more than two standard missiles to kill, so I clearly can't hit, hit a thing. Around here and ah, smack with two missiles and then a gun burst and you'll down them just fine. I'm around. Semi actives because we are kind of far away from them. And Gunsel seems to be playing, so he's not paying attention. Another plane right here. Let's see if we can. Yep, we can. And kaboom. Kaboom. No! Oh. This is a lovely mission. This mission basically just works to uh, get you more familiar with the controls and the uh, uh, general feel of the game. That's another FC-8. If you smack that thing with two special missiles, uh, they'll usually die, pretty much always. Uh, no, they will die. And there we go. 
base is an airship. They're uh, a little bigger. They look cool, but they're fairly useless. Quickly just straight. What the hell was that? See if we can. Get up to confuse the missiles. Kaboom! Perfect. So, these airships, they're a little weird because you have to destroy basically all of the uh, little mini targets on it before you're allowed to kill the thing proper. There are a few, few exceptions, but they don't really show up until the late game, so um, we won't mention them. Okay, why is this one so being so annoying? Okay, that thing, that particular little seaweed is, is uh, being a pain. Create some distance. Not a close target. Redive. Fire two missiles. Kaboom! Finally! <laughs> Just for the hell of it, let's take it down with a gun pod. Kaboom! Perfect. And we have an SK-27 on our tail. Well, no, we're on his tail now. S Based on the real life Sukhoi SU, uh, or Su, as it's, supposed to, as it's probably called, uh, 27, uh, nature reporting named Blanca. Basically, the backbone of the Russian uh, Air Force. Created to be the contender for the, uh, or a contender for the uh, F 15 Eagle. I don't know when, but that's when it. Why it was created. Kaboom! Perfect. Oh. We're heading this way, so might as well continue. So, that was mission two. Well, it's not quite over. Here we have the landing sequences. Uh, you can skip them. I enjoy uh, doing them because they're not particularly difficult. Uh, but they, they are a lot easier if you sort of ignore the ailerons and just use the rudders uh, to get you on center with the uh, with the runway itself. And then use the elevators on the back of the plane, and uh, of course the throttle to uh, bring you in for a reasonable landing. And when that thing starts to dip, you know you're in stall speed, so just further the throttle, point up a little, and there we go. Now just hold the decelerate button, which to me is LT on the Xbox One controller. until you are stopped. And that's it. Mission complete. Thanks to your efforts, Sicario was able to rendezvous with our contact and refuel for the mission ahead. You'll be heading back out within the hour, so stay on your toes, or else your time in Cascadia will be short-lived. There we go, sorty summary. 
we build 18 FC-15s, 2 FC-8s, uh, 3 advanced SAMs on the uh, air cruiser, 4 SEWERS again on the air cruiser, and 3 uh, SK-27s. The FC-15 is probably supposed to be based off of the American F-15 Eagle. Uh, Allied kills numbered 2 FC-15s and 1 SK-27. Bonus payout is 2,000 credits. Total payout is 900 and... No. It is 9,500 credits. All in all, a pretty good mission. So, this has been uh, episode 2 of Let's Play Project Wingman. Uh, my name is Glazer. If you liked the video, press like. Uh, if you want to see more of this, please subscribe or and leave a comment if you have any comments. Have a nice day.